There are 535 people on Capitol Hill whose job it is to write the laws that govern all of us, and he is one of them. There are 535 people on Capitol Hill whose job it is to preserve the Constitution, and he is one of them. There are 535 people whose job it is to preserve our liberties, and he is one of them. But in his heart and in his head, in his character and in his intellect, in what he has done and in what he will become, the Thomas Jefferson of our day, Ron Paul, is one of us. I say this with amazement, but it's, it's becoming more and more clear that we live in the age of Ron Paul, Judge. I mean, if you stop and think about it, who's the father of the Tea Party? It's Ron Paul. Not only is he the father of the Tea Party that won the majority of the House for Republicans in the 2010 midterm, but he's the father of so much of the discussion about the budget, about the debt ceiling, about taxes. Right now, this is the age of Ron Paul. Where are the real conservatives? Where are the people that's, that say all of this stuff that the Fed is doing? is socialism. There was one, you know, Ron Paul, but they drummed him out of the Republican uh, Party. I agree now with Ron Paul more than I did in 2008, and, and we have a choice, and I think this is the choice that's going to happen to us. You can't live in this middle ground with our Constitution. You can't. You either embrace the Constitution or shed the Constitution. And Ron Paul is the closest to our founders uh, out of anyone uh, up there. When the people fear the government, that is tyranny. But when the government fears the people, that's liberty. That is liberty. And liberty will reign in America. Dr. Paul. Who are you considering to be your vice presidential running mate? The name uh, Judge Napolitano jumps right.